Good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, our former colleague, Ambassador Amit Das Gupta, strategic advisor, UNSW, and former Council General at this uh, same office. Uh, Mr. Maurice Newman, I'm sure he's going to join after some time. Um, uh, Professor Patricia Wilson, uh, Vice Chancellor, University of Longong, Professor Colin Grant, uh, Deputy uh, Vice Chancellor of Global Affairs, UNSW. And uh, Professor Vinayak, who also joined. I'm sure Mr. Uh, Pete, if he's there or not. I have not met him. Hi, sorry. Uh, Ms. Yojana Parikh, Director of Selling Migration and uh, Education. Mr. Toshi from the uh, International Education Study, NSW. Commander Superintendent Martin uh, Fiedelman. Representing, OK, thank you. Mr. Simon, of course, a good friend of uh, India, uh, a neutral uh, <laughs> a guide for the cricketing world. <coughs> and uh, Mike Anderson, uh, self life saving. I'm told you, yeah, yeah, how are you? Council uh, Nira and other colleagues from the consulate, ladies and gentlemen, my dear students here present. Thank you very much for coming to the consulate. And I also take this opportunity to thank uh, one and the only uh, Mr. Gurnam Singh, a dynamic, helpful, and friendly. Uh, supportive person in Sydney um, and the founder of Australia India Sports Education Cultural Society. Thank you very much. I was also instrumental in organizing this particular event. Otherwise, this would not be possible to meet and connect uh, the students present in NSW. A passionate Indian Heritage Australian who liked to and once once was a student here, and he was passionate about Sydney and he stayed back in Sydney, and now he's a popular figure in this Indian community circuit. And we are hosting this event for students, both new and old, who are in NSW. I warmly welcome you all and the students to this consulate. And, uh, and this is the only place for you where you can come or knock anytime in city. You are most welcome to this place. There is no restriction. There is no doubt NSW is a fabulous place for living and for education. You chose to come here. In NSW, the number of educational institutions of recruit. You have worked very hard to come to Australia to study here. Your family is supporting your growth, seeing you to become a better citizen. This place offers you a stepping stone for achieving your dreams. The interaction of today tells you that we care for you and we need to connect and we are a community and we live in a community with harmony. India and Australia are value value-based partners, societies, we share common values, both, both follow rule of law, democracy. This means a lot for living in Sydney and living in NSW. Both for free countries, both are free countries, and freedom is a privilege for us to enjoy. As we grow older, it is important that we need to understand, it's very important, we need to understand what are self-awareness, self-realization, self-respect, and self-motivation. It is a very, very competitive world. Don't expect others will motivate you. We have to motivate ourselves. That is the important message. You are fortunate in a way that you are in Australia and having the best education. The opportunities in future will be huge. If you put your strength in studies and research, opportunities are there unless you don't work hard. While doing so, please take up some sports not like walking or jogging. Please indulge in physical sports and games, which will endear, endear your thoughts, mind, soul, and body. It helps to develop split the core, friendship, and understanding of the world with different perspective. Consulate is located very well you know, in Sydney, well connected with the uh, train stations, tram stations, bus connectivity. And I'm rec requesting you that visit our consulate and we are open for you to assist and help you. I'm also requesting you to register, basically the students, to register with, our, with us so that we can reach out to you for any need that you might not know it. And uh, at this time, I would like to request my colleague to see how you can register your you know, details to us. You type www.cgisydney.gov.in and where our page will be open. It's a, it's a embassy website. And uh, there you can have a consulate website you know, in detail. You will find a registration page. Yeah. 
So when you click that, it's a simple form asking about the simple details, which will help us in greater when you need it. And there is also another way that you can register through a scanning QR code, which is here, which is also displayed in various you know, standees out here. I would request you to please transmit this information to your colleagues, your friends, who are in MSW and various other universities, so that they can register with us. And there is also an emergency contact number which is available on the website. You can reach out to us on any kind of information that you would need. It is emergency, not for emergency sake. If you want to seek any information, I'm changing the attitude that if you want to seek any information, contact that. I'm also going to put some kind of a chat box on that so that you can also chat and reach out to us, express your views on that you know, part, which is not available right now, which I'm going to do it for students and Indian community. There are many initiatives that I'm going to do this year where Indian community and of course, including the students will be benefit out of those initiatives. What is the theme here now? Care, connection, and connectivity, right? And community, sorry, care, connection, and community. It is you care for yourself, first of all, and then you care for others. You care for the environment. You care for the community. <coughs> and you connect with yourself first. And connect with friends. Connect with family. Connect with the community here, community there. Connect with the past and connect with the present. And the consulate, we are there for you for all the above. I'm telling this loudly. Welcome to consulate. Thank you very much.